guys, I'm David with MediaLock.net, and today we're going to be teaching you the settings for high dynamic range photography or HDR photography. One thing I should mention, as I'm making these changes to the settings, I will be using a Canon T3i. I figure the Rebel series camera is something that the average, a lot of DSLR photographers have, so I want to make it as easy as possible for the people watching. The same principle will apply for your camera, you'll just need to know how to, how to make those changes within your camera. So the first thing I'm going to ask you guys to do, let's go on and switch our camera over to the in or manual mode because we want full control of our pictures when we're taking them. Once we've done that, we want to make sure our camera is set to raw so that we're taking raw pictures. Now the nice thing about taking a raw picture is it will give you more control over saving your exposures or fixing them. As well, when it comes to white balance, you'll have you'll be able to completely save your white balance. So if your white balance tent was way off when you were taking these pictures, you can go in and you can change that and you can completely save it, which is really going to help you out. So once you've done that, once we've gone to manual mode, once we've gone to raw mode, the very next thing that we need to do is we need to get a base picture. We need to get a picture that we're going to have that's evenly balanced or as evenly balanced as you can possibly get it. Because remember, the first picture that we take is we want it to be properly balanced so then we have one that's overexposed and one that is underexposed off that initial balanced picture. So to do that, I would highly suggest using a histogram to get an idea of how to properly balance it. So if you guys do not know how to read a histogram and you'd like some really quick pointers, in the extra folder, there will be a small video explaining histograms with HDR photography so that you're able to, so that you're able to get the best possible initial picture first. So once we've got our initial picture using the ISO aperture shutter speed, and one thing I should mention, and we'll talk, talk a lot more about this in the part three of our video when we take you out into the field and show you some techniques, is that um, if you're going to be doing HDR photography handheld instead of a tripod, you're going to need a faster shutter speed. Again, we'll dive into that into part, once we dive into part three. So once you've got your ISO, aperture, shutter, and white balance set up how you want it, we're going to switch over to the bracketing method. So now what we're going to be doing is we're setting the camera to take three photos at different exposures based on that very first exposure that you got. So to do that, of course, we're going to go into the settings here on the Canon T3i. I'm going to show you, as you guys can see, your bracketing. Now, the bracketing could be a few stops or multiple stops apart depending on how much you need it to how much you need it. If you're shooting like the sun, you're going to need multiple stops apart from each other when you take those three photos, so that it's as close to uh, properly exposed as possible when you go in to edit the high dynamic range photo. If it's something where uh, you're able to get it pretty well balanced on the initial shot using your aperture, shutter, and ISO, then you only need one or one maybe two stops in between each photo. So now what we're going to do guys is we're going to take you out into the field I'm going to show you some techniques and we're going to apply these settings that I explained. And again, if you do not know how to read a histogram, in the extras folder I'm going to have a quick tutorial explaining how to use a histogram with high dynamic range photography. So I hope this has helped you out so far. Let's go on and dive into that third video.